welcome back to today's exciting video in today's video we are going to be seeing how to uh, deploy our docker images having been able to create some images you may be wondering how do i now take my image to arrive production server we have uh, previously seen how to create an image how to be able to uh, run that image locally by creating containers and being able to access them on our browser but then uh, if we want our applications to be accessed by users we would want that image to be deployed somewhere so that users are able to access your web application globally right so in this video we are going to be looking how to do that and in this case we are going to be using a free hosting service and that free hosting service is none other than render so render we have um, previously looked at it and we were able to, to deploy a django application a flask application and today render is giving us a platform where we can deploy our docker images in some quick steps you need to ensure that you have an image and you have already pushed it to your docker hub account all right if you have not yet pushed it to your docker account make sure to watch uh, my previous video above about how to push your docker images to uh, the docker hub all right so let's dive in so just visit render.com and uh, all you need is to uh, create an account or login if you already have one so in my case i'm already logged in so that's why i'm able to see dashboard here right in your case you may have something different whereby you can either be prompted to create an account if you don't have one or log in to your existing account all right so once we uh, once we log in then let's navigate to the dashboard so here in the dashboard it's pretty quick so all we need to do just click on new then uh, we are going to select this option the web service the one that we have already selected for django application and flask application all right so uh, in this dashboard we need to select so in today's session we are not going with the, the git option we are using this particular option we want to deploy an existing image from a registry all right click next then here you need to mention the name of the image and uh, the particular name of the image uh, let me visit my docker hub account here is a list of uh, the images that i have created in the past if you want to use my images let me just show you docker hub hub dot docker okay i believe it will still take me there uh, but then i think i can just log out let me just log out so that uh, you see how you can be able to access my images so uh, currently i'm not logged in so just come here search docker hub and uh, talk of danny wangari press enter and you'll see a list of the images that i've already pushed in the past so these image uh, images are uh, available for use some i have added some description on how you can be able to uh, to go about pouring them and uh, creating your containers but others i am yet to do that just select whichever image and uh, explore that all right so for this particular demonstration i'll be using this particular image here just click on that all right and we want to use and we want to see how to to do this because as you can see we need to enter the image url and here we are given a hint that if we are we are putting an official image then this is what we are going to use but we later apply for the uh, for our custom images so let's try this on our local machine all right so let me activate my terminal and here i'll try something out so basically the username to this email this is it 
this is it all right so when when pouring from an official image this is the link that we use docker.io slash library then the name of the image but if you are to pour from a custom image then we don't need this library tag here all right so what we need to have is that we have docker we are going to have a docker pool then we have docker dot io then we should have a forward slash then we are not talking about library so we just go directly to the name uh, or uh, the name of the image then in my case i'm going to use version 2.0.0 all right so it's because i know this is a stable version the latest a version of this needs some uh, modification but this should work all right so after that press enter all right so we see that we have gotten some output it basically means that uh, we have the image locally all right so this is what we need to use when using a custom image for using official images ensure to have library all right so the name that we are going to input in our image URL, this is it. Just input that here, and uh, all right, give it time. All right, so it's there. We don't need any credentials. Then let's move to next. All right. So here you can give it a name. So the name. Let us talk of detect. Uh, technologies that's okay then for the region there are quite a number of regions here that you can select from we are going to leave the default then for the instant type so for now we want to do it for free 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 of charge all right then let's proceed so in case your your container will require any environment of um, environment variables that you had defined then this is where to input them feel free to add uh, your environment of variables here then after that you don't need anything in the advanced section all right then once you do that let's create create web service right so let's give it time uh, we are going to monitor the progress here right so immediately you see that your service is live then that's when you know that everything has worked as expected all right so let's go back okay no. let's go back here let me go back here yeah so this is where we are going to find our url all right so basically it comprises of uh, the name that we set for our application and that is dot on lender so this is a subdomain so let's click on that and there we go we have been able to deploy our application from a docker image on render so this was the look and feel of uh, my website here and i thought that creating that image will help me remember where we initially started so we can be able to navigate through some other links and uh, as you can see this is working from a docker image and it's as simple as that right so if uh, you need to probably configure your uh, this image or this container with your custom domain then render gives you that option and i think we can be able to get that let's see if we're able to do that in the settings in the settings okay all right let me see image everything is there all right and we have this custom domain section then you believe you can be able to add your custom domain here once you do then proceed to ensure that you set up your DNS as advised. So just check on uh, this DNS configuration instruction and you'll have everything working on your 
custom domain. So that's it on how to uh, deploy your Docker images online using the lender platform. Thank you for watching and uh, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share the video with your network. Thank you and goodbye.